Hello friends, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Tuesday, it's February 13. I only know that because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I have a professional development today, which honestly I don't really want to go to. I would much rather just be in class with my kids because the last professional development, I didn't feel like I learned enough to make up for not being in my classroom. Like I felt like I would have learned more in my actual classroom because I learned so much every single day. So I was kind of bummed. So I'm really hoping that this one is better <laughs> so I can feel like it's like worth my time, I guess. Um, but yes, I have that from 8 to 4 today, and then I am volunteering at the rescue mission tonight, so like the local homeless shelter, um, because they're doing some sort of like Valentine's Day event where the parents are going to be, um, I don't really know exactly what they're doing at, I think they're going to like a Valentine's Day party or something, but then I'm going to be in the nursery with the little ones. So, that's what I'm doing tonight, so it's going to be another busy day. I think I signed up to do that from like 8, or no, I'm sorry, from 5 to 8.30 I think. Sounds about right. Somewhere around there. But yes, that's what's on the agenda for today. I feel like I wanted to tell you guys something. Oh, yes. Okay, so last week I applied to my very first job post-grad. Um, like, not right now I'm post-grad, but like, I will be post-grad in the fall, if that makes sense. So I applied for my first like teaching job for the fall. And I actually, well, I wasn't really expecting to hear back because I heard like from a ton of people that people were applying for the same position. And I don't know, I just felt like I'm a first year teacher and like I don't even have like my certification yet or anything. Like I haven't actually graduated. So I was like, they're probably not going to call me because I've, I, supposedly there were like hundreds of applicants for like a couple positions so I'm like I don't know how true that is I haven't heard yet like an exact number from the district of how many people applied but rumor has it like a ton of people applied so I wasn't expecting to hear anything um, and it's actually the district that I graduated from and that my best friend Melissa teaches in right now so um, it's a great district I definitely know a lot about it uh, but I wasn't expecting to hear anything and then yesterday afternoon I got out of my meeting and I'm like running to my car and I realized that I had a voicemail so I was like oh shoot I better listen to this a second so I'm like walking to my car listening to this voicemail and it was one of the elementary schools calling me in for an interview so I'm super Super excited it definitely doesn't mean anything I'm still not expecting to get the job because I'm sure it is like super competitive but it's gonna be great interview practice for sure and um, I was just excited that it's uh, a district that I know very well and that Melissa works in and it's not Melissa's building but it's like the same district so I'm super excited so I haven't set an actual date or time for the interview yet but I will definitely keep you guys posted when I know more um, I definitely would love to work in either this district or the district that I'm currently student teaching in I love the district that I'm currently student teaching in as well but I've been trying to scope out to see if there's any openings I've kind of been asking around um, just with some teachers I'm really close with in the building um, really just like one <laughs> teacher that I'm really close with in the building but I've kind of just been asking her and then I did mention it to my CT yesterday too and it's just not looking like there's gonna be any openings necessarily which like obviously you don't know for sure because it will be based on like enrollment um, and then if anybody decides to like retire or stay home with kids or whatever that may be so it's not like a for sure no-go but it's looking kind of not great so that super bums me out because I love the building I'm in I love of the principal that I have and I just love the teachers at the school like everyone's so supportive and stuff so I love to get a job in the building that I'm student teaching in but as of right now that's not really looking like a possibility so we'll see I've definitely been praying about it it's so, like we'll see what happens I feel like I'm gonna end up exactly where I'm supposed to be no matter what so Anyways, I really need to skedaddle because now it's a little bit past time for me to go. So I will see you guys probably sometime tonight, I'm guessing. Good morning friends, so today is Valentine's Day. I am exhausted because I ended up staying up till a little bit after 1 a.m. last night just prepping stuff and being a little extra, if we're being honest. And then I woke up at five, so 
I only had about four hours of sleep and I feel like I'm starting to get a little sick like I've been very congested the past couple days so I'm gonna take some vitamin C this morning and drink some orange juice and hopefully kick this sickness's butt um, but before that I am about to go to school I'm not about to go probably in like half an hour but I did want to just check in and show you guys what I'm wearing today before I take part of it off so um, like I said it's Valentine's Day and my kids are my Valentine this year other than Chris like he counts too I guess so I thought I would show you guys what I created so I've had this red dress from Charlotte Russe for like ever and what I did was last night I went to Dollar Tree and I got these little velcro fasteners and then I wrote my kids names each on a heart and then stuck the other part of the velcro fastener on the back so that way I can have all of my Valentine's names on my dress so these are all of my kids names and I think it turned out super super cute I am gonna take them all off in just a second just so I don't ruin them with my coat um, but yeah I think it looks really really cute I'm really excited about that and I know they're gonna go crazy for it and then I did film a couple of clips last night which I'll probably insert right after this clip of just like me prepping stuff but it was seriously so late and I was so tired because I volunteered at the homeless shelter last night I can't remember if I checked in and ever said that but anyways, I did that and then I just had so much to do when I got home. So I didn't really like vlog vlog at all. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys really quick the Valentine's that I made for my kids. So I did a couple of different things. First of all, I did one of these kind of just like cheesy Valentine's for each of my kids. So it says, you're just right for our classroom. Love, Miss Adams. And then I got them each just a Dollar Tree pencil. They're super cute. Um, Jack, then for you. So I got one for each of my kids. And then also I wrote each of my kids... A little note um, so it's just like a personal note and I'm gonna leave this on their desk this morning so that way when they very first come in today they will see just like a nice little um, kind of note about like how much I love them and why I love having them in our class so I did one for every single kid um, so yeah making it rain the positive notes this morning so that was super fun but all of these different things were kind of a lot of work if we're being honest and let me show you guys something else that I prepped too so a couple things I still need to do actually this morning so while I'm eating my breakfast I might also just be like prepping things um, sorry I'm trying to figure out how I can like turn my office into a tripod basically <laughs> But um, I made this Valentine's Day bingo last night, so we're going to play bingo because this is like practicing the math concept of being able to read numbers up to 120. Um, but it's like cute and fun, so they'll think it's a game. So <laughs> I made these up, and it took me a lot longer than I thought it would because I had to, excuse me, I had to individually make every single board. And then I went out to Meyer and Dollar Tree last night at like 9.30 and didn't get back until like 10.30 um, because I wanted a heart hole punch so that I could use these as bingo chips. And of course I got like a broken hole punch so I'm gonna have to return it, but it did the job at least for last night. And then these are the little slips that I'll draw out and like call out while I'm playing. Jack, don't knock that over again, please. Um, but yeah, this is a little hole punch I got, but you can hear it's like rattling. It's not supposed to do that, so not ideal. Um, and then I just have a couple things that I still need to finish up this morning, so I'm not quite done yet. Jack, that please. Um, I'm going to make little Valentines, or like little nice notes, not really Valentines, but nice notes for all the ladies who I sit with at lunch. So all of those teachers, and then I'll show you these really technical difficulties okay I'll show you guys really quick what I made last night at like 11 o'clock for the teachers that I see during the day I just made these really cute super easy little pretzel rods with Valentine's sprinkles so I almost didn't do these but I really wanted to so I did this at like 11 o'clock last night so anyways didn't get to bed until 1 a.m. I'm a little tired. I think I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to get some orange juice. I'm going to take a vitamin C pill. I'm going to drink some water. And then I'm going to finish prepping what I need to prep this morning. So I will probably try to vlog a little bit this morning. Just like an overview of what the classroom looks like. So I will see you guys then.
Hello friends, so I'm doing a quick midday check-in. Um, my kids are currently at music, so I have some time that I'm just kind of running around the room. It's a hot mess in here right now, but we're having a fun day. So my mom actually made cupcakes, so I gave those to my kids for snack. And I have these super fun little bobbers on. So when my kids have been like super naughty this morning, I'm like, okay guys, like are we making good choices? Like let's do this. And they like just are looking up at my head bobbers and I'm like, okay, I can't really be taken very seriously when I have these on, but that's fine. They're super cute though. These are just from Dollar Tree and then I got my CT some too. My CT actually had to run to Aldi super quick um, during planning to pick up ice cream because this afternoon we're gonna have an ice cream Sunday party. So it's looking really cute in here. We're having a lot of fun this morning. Um, these are their little bags that they made yesterday when I was gone. That they're gonna put their valentines in and during planning it's kind of nice because i already prepped everything so usually i'm like running around during planning but i don't really have anything that i need to be doing right now so i got to pass out some cupcakes to um, other staff members and just kind of hang out so i'm actually going to run a couple of um little pretzel sticks down i made pretzel sticks for all the ladies that i eat lunch with and then i wrote them each a valentine um, but I'm going to run down and bring some pretzel sticks to my other friends in the building really quick. So, I'm going to go super quick though because my planning period ends in like 9 minutes. So, BRB. Welcome to a new vlog. Today is Monday, February 19, I believe. It's President's Day, so I'm in my classroom, or my teacher's, my CT's classroom, uh, but there's no kids because we don't actually have school today. I did decide to come though because my badge only works Monday through Friday, seven to four, so I can never come in on the weekends, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna use today to prep everything for the week, so that way every day this week, I'm just gonna be super calm, cool, and collected because I won't have to be running around prepping stuff so obviously I'm not gonna be able to prep like every single thing for the whole entire week but I'm gonna like make all my copies right now and also I needed to switch out my reading workshop book because we just finished one book so I need to grab the next one and I didn't realize that on Friday so I couldn't prep or like do my planning I guess over the weekend for readers workshop so I want to make sure I grab that so it's kind of nice it's empty and quiet the school's a little spooky it's like dark right now but today is an exciting day you guys because well a i got to sleep in so that's pretty cool b i have my interview today and i'm really excited so i have my interview with the district that i graduated from at 4 45 today it's only like right before 11 right now so i have a while to like work on stuff and then i'm gonna go back to my house and obviously change i'm not gonna wear this to my interview so i'm gonna change and like spruce up and whatnot and then go to my interview this afternoon and I'm really excited you guys but I'm also a little bit nervous um, I'm sure you guys can understand why because it's like my first big girl interview and I don't know I'm just a little spooked but I'm excited so anyways gonna go run and make my copies I'm gonna look for the other book and Really, that's it. Oh, also while I'm here, I need to film a couple of audiobooks for my kids because I'm gonna put them on Google Classroom so that way during our listening station, they can like listen to me read a book. Um, we used to be able to have them watch YouTube videos have like different people reading books which is super cool however the district or the school at least that I'm in um, recently blocked YouTube so the kids can't get on it from their iPads which is kind of a bummer because we used it like every day pretty much so kind of bummed about that but that's fine that just means I can record some of my own books on tape type things and then put them on Google Classroom so hopefully that works I haven't really tried it before but I think it will anyways gonna go make copies see you soon Hello friends, so it's right around noon right now. Um, I can't remember when I vlogged last, but I feel like it was like 11ish probably. And I am actually just about to head out. I got done pretty much everything that I had planned on getting done today, so that's good. I made all my copies and even organized them so I have them ready to go for tomorrow. They're right over here. And then I set out the flashlights for tomorrow for our flashlight reading. I changed the agenda. I changed the I can statements like I'm feeling pretty good so I did everything I really wanted to do and then I filmed um, a couple of audiobooks too I haven't edited them but I'm gonna do that in the comfort of my own bed so not gonna do that while I'm here 
But I did want to show you a couple things that I really like for the classroom since I'm here anyways. Um, so I wanted to show you this first. I did just make these um, schedules on PowerPoint and I think they turned out really nicely. I didn't use a template or anything. I just like came up with it. Um, but yeah, I think they turned out really cute. So that's our agenda and there's a different one obviously every day. That's one for Tuesday, which is tomorrow. And then I made this. I can't remember if I've talked about this before, but this is just like a PBIS strategy talking about like what positive behavior looks like and sounds like, and we just review that every day. And then this is the book that we're going to read tomorrow. This is called Billions of Bricks. I got this from the library. And I like this because, first of all, the illustrations are really cool which I think is really neat. But on top of that, I like that it counts by different um, like skip numbers. I don't really know how you would say that, but it says like two, four, six, instead of just counting like one, two, three, four. And then we've been practicing counting by decade numbers. So like 10, 20, 30. So I thought this would be good practice for them. Plus it's just like a cute book. So, yep, this is the book. Five, 10, 15, 20. So it just practices counting by different numbers or different like amounts. So it's a really cute book. I just found it at the library and I was like, hey, that kind of matches what we're learning right now because right now we're learning about counting by decade numbers. So yeah, I really like that. And this is just like what the little area looks like. My CT has the cutest room ever. Also, she every once in a while watches my vlogs, I think. So if you're watching this, Renee, hello. I'm in your room, it's cute shout out to you <laughs> but yeah and then also my one of my friends was in this room last semester as a teacher assistant and i think she made this but i'm not positive but it's super cute i definitely want something like this in my classroom if i end up teaching like kindergarten or first grade maybe even second grade honestly um i love mo willems he's like one of my favorite authors and he writes the pigeon books and the elephant and piggy books and all that fun stuff so anyways, I am going to take off. I think I'm going to run to the library really quick because it's on my way home anyways. And then I'm going to go home. Oop, I'm blurry. Sorry. I'm going to go home and I'm just going to practice like doing some interview questions, I guess, for my interview. And I'm just going to like try to relax and like watch some TV and stuff and just like be in a good headspace before my interview. So I'm like so nervous for some reason, but I'm also really excited because... It's like my first ever big girl interview, so it's really cool. But anyways, I'm going to take off. I will see you guys later. Hello, friends. So it is 3.30 right now, and my interview is coming up, you guys. I'm actually ready, like, pretty early because, I don't know, it just makes me feel better to be ready early than to, like, risk not being ready on time. I don't know. But anyways, I am, like, fully dressed and ready to go, but I don't have to leave for, like, almost an hour, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, I thought I would show you guys really quick what I'm wearing because I'm like completely dressed right now. Um, where can I set you that you guys would see? I think I've set you on the microwave before. <laughs> Let me do that. So, the lighting is not great. I apologize. It's like super rainy and gross outside. Um, this dress that I'm wearing though is from Shein. I'll show you guys what it looks like without the little sweater. This is super, super cute and very affordable because it's from Shein, like I said. It has these fun little tassels, but it's very professional looking. Um, it has a nice zipper in the back and it goes all the way down to my knees. I am a very short person though, so if you were taller than me, which you most likely are, um, it probably wouldn't go quite as long on you. But I really like this. I think it's super nice, very tailored. It fits me like perfectly, which I think this is a size small. But I will say the little liner, um, the built-in liner underneath is like significantly tighter than the dress itself, which is super weird. So I actually did cut the liner off the back because there's this little part back here that kind of goes up. And the liner there was so tight, I literally could not get it on. So I cut that part, um, but you can't tell. And I think it's super cute. And then I'm just going to wear this little sweater from Old Navy, like I said. I wish I had a navy blazer, but I don't, unfortunately. So this is just going to have to do. But it works. We're making it happen. So that's what I'm wearing over that. And then I just curled my hair, and I have pretty natural-looking makeup on today can't really see but it's pretty natural looking and then my shoes that I keep click clacking around in 
are, I believe, from DSW, and they are the Madden Girl brand, and I actually am so excited that I found them because I could not find one of them, like, all morning, and I just spent, I kid you not, an hour <laughs> looking for this pair of shoes because I had one shoe, but I was missing the pair, and I wanted to wear these shoes. Like, you know when you get your heart set on something and you're like, I can't wear anything else. I have to wear that. So I was kind of in that mindset, so I'm very happy that I found my shoe. It was in my car, like, lodged underneath my seat, so not ideal, but I did find them, so that's good. They're just, like, the perfect interview shoes because they're not a very high heel, and I feel like they look professional, so I'm really excited for my interview. I'm a little bit nervous, if we're being honest, but not really. Like, I'm sure once I get in there, I'm going to be a lot more nervous, but right now, I'm just excited. Like, I'm really excited about the potential of getting a job in a district that I'm definitely interested in, and on top of that, I'm just excited to get some interview practice and um, just for the opportunities that can come from this whether it's getting a job here or just setting the stage to get a job somewhere else as well so I'm excited but I'm trying not to get my hopes up either because there's a huge possibility I won't get the job there were a lot of applicants I can't remember if I've talked about this already so I apologize if I have but there were like almost 100 applicants for four positions which is crazy so just to get to like the second stage of interviews is um definitely a huge compliment i believe um so i'm just excited to be able to do this so anyways i am going to listen to some of my favorite music and i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna play with my cat and then i'm gonna go to my interview so wish me luck Hello friends, so it's way way later now. Today is March 18 as I'm filming this little clip and I've had the rest of this video edited for like at least a week or two, um, probably two weeks actually, but I got really really sick and then life just got crazy which I'm going to explain more in my next vlog because I actually already started vlogging like a new vlog if that makes sense, um, but I just haven't gotten a chance to finish this one so I wanted to come on really quick because um, I was dealing with a lot of sickness and stuff and now I'm feeling a lot lot better. So I wanted to come on and just say that um, I'm sorry I haven't put up any content in such a long time. Like I said, I'm going to explain it more in my next video, um, which will be coming soon. Don't worry. But I did want to pop in and say hello and <laughs> sorry about that. And just remember that you guys are incredibly beautiful and loved. And I will have that other vlog up for you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.